a very good day to dr zaki and my fellow friends we are from team 2 and today we are going to present the duration pathway for italian synthesis my name is yogendran and my team members are aimi diana and also gaura chandrika there are three main reaction pathways for the synthesis of italian first of all from coal secondly from methane and finally from naphtha the first reaction pathway to produce ethylene is from coal for that first of all the coal should be converted to syngas via coal gasification process syngas is basically a mixture of carbon monoxide and also hydrogen it serves as a building block for the production of olefin in our case ethylene the coal gasification process will be operated at temperature of 1200 degrees celsius and pressure of 4 to 8.5 megapascal in order to produce syngas so next we can proceed with the next process which is the methanol synthesis process so basically here the syngas will be converted into methanol the process includes syngas purification methanol synthesis and methanol distillation process so basically in the reactor it will be operated under temperature of 300 to 375 degrees celsius with a pressure of 200 to 380 atm the hydrogen to carbon monoxide ratio will be 2 to 1 and the catalyst that we use is copper to zinc oxide based catalyst the reaction in overall is an exothermic reaction the final reaction in coal to ethylene conversion is mto process which is the methylene to olefin process so basically the mto process includes the reaction of regeneration gas compression flue gas energy utilization and recovery and finally heat regeneration normally an mto process is composed of two parts which is a reactor section and the product recovery section in the reactor section the methanol is converted into olefin by a fluidized bed reactor and also the product will go to the product recovery section for light olefin recovery in our case the ethylene so basically the reactor will be operated at a temperature of 650 to 1000 fahrenheit under pressure of 15 to 45 psig the common catalyst that we use is silico alumino phosphate and also aluminum silicate which is the zeolite so um, in overall this reaction is an exothermic reaction and over 89 percent of yield of ethylene can be produced via the MTO reaction in which almost 90% of pure ethylene can be obtained as a final product. The reaction mechanism involving methanol and the catalyst would be the hydrocarbon pool mechanism. One of the plant that utilizes the MTO process in order to produce ethylene is Honeywell EOP. It is the world largest methanol to olefin plant. It has an annual production capacity of 883,000 metric tons per year. Hello, my name is Gaura and I will be presenting on the second reaction pathway which is the production of ethylene from methane via the oxidative coupling mechanism OCM. Over the past 30 years, various studies have shown that OCM is a promising alternative to steam cracking that uses naphtha. This is because it has potential for high profit due to the dropping natural gas prices and rising oil price. The reaction equation is as shown here, whereby methane and oxygen is reacted to produce ethylene and water. The reaction is exothermic and has a standard heat of reaction of negative 175 kJ per mole. The most commonly used OCM catalyst is lithium magnesium oxide at an operating temperature of 700 to 900 degrees C at 6.62 bar of pressure. The ratio of methane to oxygen is fed at 3 to 1 ratio and there is no diluents needed and the conversion of e methane is 22 to 34 percent depending on the operating temperature used. In this case, the selectivity of ethylene over ethane is 49% and the ratio of ethane produced to ethylene is 0.52. The, the common type of reactor used for this process is fixed bed catalytic reactor. This is an overview of the entire process. So basically, uh, in the reactor, there is two sections. The first one is the OCM reaction section and next is the alkane cracking section. Oxygen natural gas is fed to this reactor and then the product gas is further moved to the separation and purification unit to produce the end product, namely the ethane and ethylene. Silura Technologies is the first company in the world to start up the first commercial plant to directly convert natural gas to ethylene and this was done in 2015. The plant is located in San Francisco, USA.
Moving on to the next pathway to produce ethylene, which is the steam cracking of NEFTA, where it remains the dominant source of ethylene globally. However, gas cracking has been gathering more and more significance as the NAFTA crackers took the burn of pressure after overbuilding in the late 1970s, and the LPG cracker segment has increased steadily since the late of 1980s. The advantages of steam cracking of NEFTA is to cut out the expensive distillation processes needed, but it may not produce the product that is needed in high enough yield. The radical mechanism reaction of NEFTA starts with the initiation process, homolytic fission in heating, where the non end will produce two free radicals which will then undergo a propagation step, beta fission, to form ethylene molecule. The operating condition is temperature 400 to 900 degrees Celsius at high temp pressure 70.92 bar using zeolite ZSM5 or aluminium silicate as the catalyst, which will produce 25 to 35% of ethene or ethylene, and the other major products are raw pyrolysis gas 19 to 29%, methane 15%, and also propylene 16%. The figure show the steam cracking of NAFTA by Moras Chemical India, where it starts with the thermal cracking process, where NAFTA is cracked at high temperature and decomposes into hydrocarbon with a smaller carbon number. Quenching process, crack high temperature gas is cooled and separated into individual chemicals through two phases. The compression process, where the pressure of the cooled gas is increased by a compressor to separate and refine it in an economical way. Lastly, the refining process where the respective components of compressed and dried gas are separated in stages. As we can see, there are a few products which is ethylene, propylene, mixed carbon, RPG which is raw pyrolysis gas and BTX plant. The example of company that use NAFTA cracking to produce ethylene is the Yochun NCC Core LTD, which was born of integration between the NAFTA cracking centers NCC of DL Chemical and Hanwha Solution in 1999. The Yochun NCC is the Korea's leading NAFTA cracking centers company where it produces various best materials for the petrochemical industries and supplies them to the domestic and overseas market. It was established at 28 December 1999, where the major business of Yochun NCC is the crack of NEFTA to produce basic feedstock material for the petrochemical industries. As we can see, the product and the capacities, ethylene is the product which has the most capacity produced per year, which is 1,950,000 ton per year. Here we have tabulated the comparison between all three ration pathways in terms of yield, operating condition, its respective advantages and disadvantages for the Italian synthesis based on the respective pathway. That's all from team 2. Thank you.